Good to see you again. Thanks for, for joining us as always. Why don't we kick off with the, the broader index pullback and, and uh, the kind of derating that we have seen because earnings, of course, have been strong uh, in some of these big cap uh, tech names. What sort of level of pullback in valuations have we seen and do you think it's done? Uh, okay, so you threw a lot into that question, Wilfred. Uh, I'm not sure that it's done. We do refer to it as the great derating. The setup here is that you had a good number of tech stocks that really re-rated in the back half of, of last year. I think we cut the numbers. There was about 30 stocks that were trading at a price to sales multiple in excess in excess of 20 times. At the beginning of this year, that number has now gone down from 30 stocks down to 10 stocks. So we have gone through a great uh, derating. We could still see a little bit further movement just in the consumer internet sector I look at. We're still a few turns above the pre-COVID levels. So yeah, I think there's a little bit more downside. Fundamentals have been very strong, strong or stronger than expected. But those multiples still need to come down probably a little bit. And then you're going to be looking for the names that are stronger fundamentally post-COVID than pre-COVID that are back at kind of pre-COVID multiple levels. Those will be your best picks, I think, going forwards. On, on that note, you've kind of uh, changed your order of preference uh, of the, yes. let's start with the mega cap names. What's your new number one pick and why? Yeah, so that setup I just gave you, Wilfred, is what I was trying to uh, get at Amazon. So this is a company that is growing faster post-COVID than pre-COVID. It's had an acceleration in its growth rates for retail, probably for cloud, definitely for advertising. Yet it's trading at a discount to where it was trading pre-COVID. So that's a... That's, a, that's dysfunctional in, in my book, so that's our number one pick. It's also a good asset. It was prior to COVID, and it's an even better asset post-COVID. Number two pick for us was our number three pick before. That's Uber. And then our top pick before was Facebook. Nothing wrong with Facebook. It's nicely, very nicely outperformed over the last several months. So the risk award is at the margin just a little less attractive. We still like the asset long term. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.